You know, greed is considered one of the seven deadly sins, and it consumed one man from Guthrie enough to change his life forever. Drug money gave him everything he ever wanted until that life of crime landed him in federal prison. News 4's Adria Goins has his tale of forgiveness and redemption from prison to pulpit. So they come in and they'll just pick the side between the drinks or peanut butter. Every Wednesday afternoon, the Two Lakes Food Pantry is packed. People picking out free loaves of bread, boxes of food, a blessing in a bag. Thaddeus Black greets each person with a smile, a laugh, or a hug. He's the pastor at Two Lakes Community Church, preaching to families and young men and women in a troubled area of Bethany. We have an a open arms vision. We try to get to know these youth. Uh, it's hard to grab all of them, but you know, the ones that we can create a good safe space for, uh, we can. A safe space far away from the plagued path he chose, one that put him in prison. So I started selling drugs probably about the early part of 96. You pick up this drug sack and next thing you know you're selling drugs and it just becomes that part of that culture that you, you get into. This married father of two became a cocaine dealer. I did it hard and fast. And the FBI was fast to figure him out. After months of surveillance, agents tracked him down. Two years of dealing put him in federal prison for 11 years. At his lowest point, locked up, he contemplated taking his own life. He tearfully made a jailhouse phone call to his mother. She said, the good Lord loves you, Thaddeus. He loves you. And it was at that moment, and I've heard my mother tell me about Jesus all these times, but it was that moment right there that I'm telling you that it, it was like a light switch that came on inside my soul. A soul saved, warmed by the word inside those cold concrete walls. Years passed, but not without his Bible in hand. When he was released, a young man he had mentored behind bars introduced him to Gary Pitcock, who was willing to help. I said, I'm not looking for a handout, brother. I just need a hand up right now. Pitcock gave him a job at a car dealership off of MacArthur and asked him to come to church at Bethany First Church of Nazarene. It wasn't long before Black found a permanent place in the pews as a member, called to share his testimony one Sunday morning. So I was a cell of dope, and now I'm a cell of hope. It was a story familiar to a man sitting in the congregation, a former FBI agent by the name of Rick Raines. And they showed that he was arrested by the FBI in Guthrie, and I was like, well, wait a minute. So that's, that's when I called my friend and said, yeah, what was the name of that case? We worked in Guthrie. The case was Thaddeus Black. Behind the lens of the camera capturing surveillance images that eventually put Black in prison was Raines himself. I remember coming up behind him and grabbing him, patting him on the back, said, Thaddeus, you are not going to believe but I was on the surveillance team. I was probably the one taking your photo. You gotta be kidding me, right? But it, it was good, it was a good thing. I'm like, oh my gosh, but, but was, this is crazy. Reigns went from helping to put Black away to helping him find his way in Christ. When Black wanted to become an ordained minister, Reigns was on the board that recommended a minister's license. I knew God had done a work in his life and that uh, he had called him to mm. ministry. And when he was ordained, Reigns and two other former FBI agents who had a hand in his arrest were there to witness his full circle moment. Which is why Pastor Black serves here every week, feeding the hungry and preaching the gospel from the pulpit, spreading the good word in a world desperate for hope. The church lit for Christmas to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Pastor Black is reminded of his own rebirth he doesn't regret his path because it led him here, to his church, okay. to his faith, to a connection with a foe turned friend. Uh, it's a special, special friendship. It's, it's just kind of crazy that uh, God has put us together in, in wow. such, close, such a close way. In Bethany, Adria Goins, Oklahoma's News 4. And another full circle moment for these two men. Rick was named the godparent to Thaddeus' grandchild. Now, 